What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Swank Outdoors. My name is Donnie Swank. Here we are in Minnesota. It is finally here. I've been talking about it. Uh, we uh, took a road trip. We've been camping. My best friend Josh Hawk is with me. Dave. Hey, hey, hey. This is Dave McNellis. This is my guide for the weekend. <laughs> We're in northern Minnesota. We're on a lake in northern Minnesota. We just got out at the crack of about 11 a.m. <laughs> it was it was late. We had a long ride coming in last night. Josh and I came basically, but from Detroit, from St. Clair, yeah. all day yesterday. Uh, we we it was it's about a according to GPS, it's about a 14-hour drive, a 13-hour drive. I don't know. It took us about 15, 16. We got the days about 11:30 last night, and and uh, we were slow moving this morning, but we're here. We got the rest of today, all day tomorrow, and all day Monday to try and get a Minnesota Giant or two in the net. Dave's gonna tell us what the plan is. What are we doing? Well, we're gonna start out, we're on our second spot. I'm throwing a little bit deeper what they uh, just had. Oh, on. We, got, we got one up already? It was really slow and I think it turned off like eight feet out. Keep it going. That didn't take long. One fish up. Big? Uh, I would say 40. I'll take 40 that. 40-ish. All right, well, we got to get... All right, come on. I want to start fishing. What are we doing? <laughs> right, I'm, I'm, that was a musky. I, I'm, to be honest, I think I just seen it. Keep it going. We're about 60 yards from a waypoint. Anyways, the program, the program. <laughs> we want to know the program. I'm throwing a white medusa. These lakes up here are full of tulby and uh, white fish. So trying to match the hatch a little bit. He just moved that fish on a white bucktail. Um, we're going to have Donnie throwing dark. Get a couple light baits. We're going to go deep and we're going to cast shallow until we figure out where most of them are living right now been a few weeks since I've been out here and the water's dropped about 15 degrees so just gonna get some baits going and hope for the best hopefully we got something for you here shortly sounds good I'm about to get after it Josh already moved the fish I'm ready to catch one let's do this we'll be back soon with a fish in the net all right oh, look at the grass. first cast in Minnesota bait oh. yeah Bait everywhere. I'm going Shadzilla. This bait's caught me a few fish. Hopefully, uh, juice, uh. hopefully uh, this gets the job done. Yeah, bucktail, and then this friggin'. What is that? Crates? Or cribs? Do they put cribs in here? <laughs> well, that's because, why? Because it's natural. Look, there's a giant! Oh yeah, look at that. Here you go. There A little hard to tell for me because it just looks so big. It's the first one I've had in here <laughs> like that. That was that was uh, can I see? Could I have seen a big fish that Yes. Oops. In this water, yes. That was a big one, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, she was. Like, and it was like... Hopefully, uh, I wonder if you'll be able... You probably won't be able to see that on that camera, but you never know. This is cool. This is cool. Well, that sucks. 
See, that's why I don't do your, oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. She's still there, she's still there. Yeah, she's still there. There's fish all over the spot, man. I like this spot. That one, it wasn't a giant, but she was okay. I'd say 38, 39. Good ice, yeah, I'd have taken her. So this spot here has four fish on it that we know of. And one that's probably flirting with fish. And one that's got a sore mouth. <laughs> No. Yeah, I was like, it's little fish. What am I doing? Oh, it's a it's a muskie. It's a little muskie. It's a muskie. Somebody... So it's my first Minnesota muskie. Get my picture, Do you want to just Minnesota Giants? Minnesota muskie of the trip. Nice. Keep growing. I wasn't even sure it was on there. I'm like fish and I'm like no. I felt a little. Alright, update time. It is 10 to 5. I've been out here for what? Six hours? Yep. One giant in the boat. <laughs> Muskie's a muskie. <laughs> Uh, one fish in the boat so far. We got uh, we moved nine nine, nine fish nine all fish. all around uh, major. Yeah, moon underfoot. Coming into it. Coming in. Yeah. Coming into it. After that, we moved one. Yeah, one since. Let's. We hit our wall. Yeah, it's been slow, but uh, we're well. We we were gonna go back on the spot where we had all the action earlier, but there's a boat there right now. So we're going to a different spot first. Hopefully we'll get back over there. But uh, we did see one big fish as well. We're hoping to get on that. Yep. Uh, Upper 40s. We got sunset coming up. That's that's about all we have to look forward to. And also, I lost moon. one too. Oh yeah, you did do that. I got two, I got that. two head shakes. I would have probably tried to keep that one on. Yeah. But you know, whatever. It was under 50, <laughs> so I didn't want it. Shake it off. Quick release. We're only after big ones like mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're great. All right, uh, let's go fishing. Let's go get them. Flock of muskie. <laughs> flock. <laughs> A flock of muskies. A flock of muskies. <laughs> We're just trying to stumble across one good flock of skis. <laughs> Put a few fish in the boat. That's the game plan for today, boys. Big old flock Locking come up. in today. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta locate a good flock. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the Swink Outdoors way. Dave, 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 move your run. Oh, that was a nice one. You went off, I see you. You did the exact same thing as the last one. Here, really go like this. Sometimes if you go like this. And then back in here. Oh, it's magic. Did you see that? Yeah. Minnesota muskie hunt, day two. Here we go. 30 degrees. We're gonna light them up today, boys. We say, Dave, doing a little trolling. Doing a little trolling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to check my fly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Make sure I'm all ready to go. I'm not trying to show anything off to all of my 53 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> pretty pretty else soon the paparazzi is going to be standing outside the door. <laughs> They're going to stick GPS's under your truck so they know where you're going. <laughs> right here, you did the night. Yeah, good. Yeah. I watched it. Was it a good one? Yeah, it's a decent one, man. I watched it eat. It was awesome. <laughs> it's, down. it's a nice fish. On the boss shed. In the back. Yeah, baby! Short line trolling, Dave! Welcome to the party! Right, Fish in the up. net. Alright, give me uh, pliers. We're right here. Let's get her uh let's get her off. She's only got one hook on it. Yep, bring her over mean? towards me. Alright, she's off. She off? She's off. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Good picks. You can see them go six foot down. Dude, did you see it when it hit? Did you see when when you grabbed the rod? Could you see the fish? Has anybody moved the fish on a bucktail yet? No. Good. Good. Great bait to use. Good. Yeah. Definitely want to keep throwing bucktails in. I got a fish on me. I got a fish on me right now. Yeah. He's still there. He's still there. I didn't, I didn't see him that time, but yeah. I don't know if he's still there or not. He went around at least three or four times, though. I actually think he hit it once on the on the uh, on the retrieve. Cause I swear I thought I felt something. Just a tap. Yeah, I know, but you don't want to. Don't want to hear that. I, I, I'll. Uh... So he's probably still there. I'm telling you, he really seemed like he wanted it. Yeah, it was a, it was close, I would say at least 43, 44, maybe bigger than that. It was the best fish I've seen so far. And he went around at least four times. Oh, I just missed one. Got him, boy! Hit it twice. I set back into him, too, but it's... Oh. It was upper, it was mid-30s. It hit twice. <laughs> Volcano. Volcano eruption. Aliens. Fish. Oh! oh. He missed it. I might have. No, I have. I don't know if you want to see 
see it or not, but he's right there. He, he swung at it. He missed it, yeah. He came up from below it. He was deeper. He was like, no, it was a high 30s. High 30s? 38, 39. Same kind of size as the ones we've been seeing. Here we go. We're on the spot where we have, we've had more action than anywhere else. I'm going pivot glider. Is that what that is? Yep. Dave's going bucktail. Josh is going Dusa. That's a good combination. I like it. I like it. Let's right. go, boys. Let's do it. Get it done. Keep him down, keep him down, Ned, Dave! Oh, oh was it? Yeah, was a big one. <laughs> that was a pipe? <laughs> For sure? Yeah. That was a big well, pipe. Fish! Fish! It's a walleye. No, it's a bass. It's a big bass. Is it a monster small mouth? <laughs> Large mouth. Is it large mouth? <laughs> nice. October smallmouth fishing. You know That's a large mouth. mouth. When I first turned my head, I thought that was the fish. Your bait coming across the water. <laughs> Dude, the sky's really cool, but he's still there. He's still there. Keep it going. There he goes. Yeah, he, he went off. Yeah, we got him. We got him. He got him. Oh, Dave! I had him. Yeah, you did. That was, yeah, that was 42, 43. I had zero confidence in this Told you they work. Ten to three, on day three. What we got? Three fish in the boat too, huh? Three, two muskies and a pike, right? We've had how many? No, seriously, how many fish have we actually hooked and lost? I hooked three. Hooked and lost, probably a four or five total. Plus Seen another, another seven, eight. In the last three days, two and a half I days. Had at least three, four, <clears throat> probably four of those over 45. So basically, we've been on fish. We just haven't capitalized on opportunities. They're winning. And it's been tough, but it's day three. We got a major coming up. We are coming on moon, which has been about that's the only time we've really had consistent action has been on this moon. What is this? Moon Moon underfoot. Moon underfoot has been basically it's been consistent with us this whole trip. Every day we've had we've at least got one to eat. And we're coming up on, on our spot. We got pretty juicy weather coming in. Obviously, you can see that. And I'm trying something different. Dave's got the bondy on. It's not really different because you would by now you would already see that he tried it and lost one. But <laughs> he didn't believe that it would work. <laughs> well, I still so, fish. <clears throat> Dave's on the bondy program. Josh. Josh is on the sloppy that he raised, the only fish we have contacted today. That I hooked. Then Dave hooked it on the bondy. I haven't seen anything yet today besides Josh's, but this is it. 
It's go time, final uh, final hour basically. There it is, fish cast. Hopefully we can get this done. Our, our big major didn't show anything. I mean, we're basically in it right now. We were in it. Big major, the one that's produced for us every... I mean, we got nothing. It didn't even show us a fish. It doesn't... Are we in it right now? Yeah, we've been in it. There's one. Fish! Keep the net, keep him down! Give me the net, give me the net! No, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, fish Blake. Blake. Hey. Hey, it's fish that's actually nice. Good too. job, man. Yeah, we'll take fish right Come on, yeah. Guys. good job. Good job. Hell yeah, we'll take him. Yeah, give me some pliers. It's a fish. That's a little big for a quick strike. <laughs> We're definitely going after the queen with that one. Uh, yeah. You got a camera ready? Josh Hawk, the pike master. <laughs> Chunky little guy. Bye bye. Good job. Hey, we didn't get skunked. We went another day without getting skunked. Now let's get a musky, huh? Well, I got it. Apparently, a musky. We're gonna need that for him. Fifty incher, huh? Fifty one in the quarter. Holy smokes. Can you get the whole fish in yep. there? Yep. If you go horizontal, you might be a little better off. Get the whole fish. <laughs> Holy shit. I appreciate it. Kind of get a little glimpse of them. Wow, 50 inch, 51 inch. Awesome, man. Good job. The Minnesota Giant Hunt Road Trip. We're on our way home. It is 6.50 p.m. Eastern Time. We are still on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We are 9 hours and 39 minutes from home. 662 miles to go. 
It's raining. We were gonna camp. We have decided we don't want to do that. We give up. We're not doing it. Giant hunt hasn't gone exactly the way we planned, but it has been a good trip. We caught a lot of fish. We all caught fish. We saw fish. We've had fun. Now the adventure is getting home. Uh, safely. Safely. Mm -hmm. We're gonna hammer this out. This is this is maybe the end of this video. This is probably the closing. This is the I end. I don't know if there's much more to say. Unless Josh, we stumble across something. Yeah, maybe maybe we see some wildlife or something coming along the way here, but this is this is pretty much it from here on out. It's gonna be driving through the dark, so fishing could have been time. better. But we had we had opportunities every day. Wish we would have capitalized on a few more of them, but we got to see our buddy Dave. That was awesome. Him and his family rolling out the red carpet for us. Very nice, very nice. Pot roasted for dinner, cookies on the boat, all kinds of goodies. The uh, little bro cave that, that Dave set up for us in his garage, our little fish camp was something something uh something wild and something fun i'll say that it, it was all a good time and uh we really appreciate him and his family letting us do that and man this has been a blast uh hopefully do it again soon i'm uh, i'm blessed and lucky to be able to do this i uh hope this becomes some kind of a good video i know you're gonna see a lot of misses but there's some cool footage uh you saw the 51 incher that uh, a walleye guy caught in front of us at the end of the trip that was uh really capped her off <laughs> that was something that was really cool to see but it was also Show you how it goes yeah it was also kind of hurt a little bit after a, a rough few days on the water but uh it left us wanting more because we know that there's big fish where we were at so keep chasing them well minnesota we will be back and uh that's gonna do it for this one man this was fun and i'm blessed to be able to do this and i will real quick i need to thank my wife because i'm not a i'm not a sponsored angler but i think if i had one sponsor it's my wife because she's kind of the one that's financing all this right now so i love you babe thank you for everything out